leads it 9-1. to one. Shelly throws down low. Markowski kicks it out to Jazz. Knocked away by Marshall. Seven to shoot, six to shoot. Shelly for three. You betcha! Huskers take their first lead of the game with 30 seconds left. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Well, I think you can say March is officially going now. you got Big Ten Women's Tournament underway, and let the madness begin. Welcome to Sports Highly here on a hump day, a Wednesday edition of the program tonight. we got kind of one of those smorgasbord-type shows where we're going to talk a little wrestling, uh, Husker women's basketball, baseball. we got a little bit of everything sprinkled in there tonight. We'll keep track of some of these scores that are going on again. 219 left in the first half at the Target Center in Minneapolis. It's Northwestern 31, Purdue 30. So a really tight game, and you would expect that to be a tight game. The winner of that gets Nebraska tomorrow. Uh, roughly around 2 o'clock tip time, we'll be on the air with Matt and Jeff at 1 o'clock tomorrow, and then Rutgers, Minnesota play the late game tonight. Uh, so it's underway, the playing game tonight. I think I saw Cotney tweet that he's there sitting courtside probably scouting taking notes oh yeah absolutely he um <laughs> he's kind of like the mayor of that thing you know he's been there for so long yeah. and he knows all the other uh voices of all the other teams and all the coaches and the referees and everybody i mean he he just knows everybody at that point when you've been there for so long and so yeah he's got a he's got a seat uh see and be seen you know yeah yeah so yeah, i'm sure he's He's monitoring every bit of that that's happening up there tonight. Why not? You're there in town. I mean, the Huskers flew up today. Why, why sit in your hotel room? Go watch some basketball. That's why you're there. Go uh, go see some of the tournament action. And as Duke mentioned in the ticker, I'm really interested in this men's game with Northwestern and Michigan State because this could have a direct impact on the Huskers seating for the tournament next week up in Minneapolis. And the Huskers off until the Sunday game in Ann Arbor against Michigan. And you got I got a feeling probably even Fred Hoiberg might be watching uh, this game tonight with Michigan State Northwestern. It certainly would be nice to have it locked up that where it doesn't matter what happens on Sunday if you've got that double by locked in. It'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah, it would be really, really nice. We'll keep you posted on those two scores as we make our way through the evening tonight. Uh, as I mentioned, the Huskers women's team flew up to Minneapolis today. It's such a short flight. It's about 50 minutes when you take off from LNK to get up there to, to get in there. And yeah, I think the Big Ten has a rule that you cannot leave until 24 hours from your tip time. Well, we tip close to 2 o'clock, so that's about when they left Lincoln today. But up there in plenty of time for guys like Cote and Grish to go watch the games tonight. I, I think, you know, regard. I don't know that it really matters because I think Nebraska is better clearly better than both Northwestern and Purdue, who they'll play tomorrow. I, I don't know that it really matters. I mean, I'm sure one team maybe does something a little bit better than the other, but I think tomorrow is just about does Nebraska play well? If they do, they win. Yes, and, you know, it never hurts to get another win on True. on the resume and to keep racking up those wins. But I do think Purdue, Purdue is head and shoulders better. better. They press. They're a little bit more, you know, I coming off the Ohio State loss, the, we had Amy in studio, and she had talked about how they didn't handle the pressure well against Ohio State. Now, Ohio State's a different animal. Yeah. But following that up, they said, we better get ready because Purdue's going to bring the pressure as well. So, you know, that would be maybe the only concern there with Purdue is just the way that they do bring a little bit more pressure, I think. But, yeah, it just, look, it doesn't matter at this point. you got to go take care of business. you got to do what you do, and you got to win in advance. And Every win is important at this point, and there's still plenty that they could maybe play for. We we were looking at the seedings last night of some of the teams that are ahead of them, and some of them are not playing as well. Right. So you never know how this thing unfolds this next couple of weeks. Maybe they can move up in the seeding if they make a, a good run and knock off some teams. And Michigan State is a team that they're liking right now. That committee and the they're high in the in the a lot of the rankings, the standings, the nets. So. And they're one of the teams that are ahead of them. So if you can go maybe head-to-head -head and beat them twice in yeah. one season, I don't know how you can seed them ahead of Nebraska. So, yeah, still a lot on the line, but you have to take care of business coming up on tomorrow night with whoever it is that you play. Northwestern now up five. They're almost a, they're six seconds before halftime. So you're telling me we need to be rooting for Northwestern. Go Cats. I, th I think <laughs> Purdue is better, clearly better than Northwestern. Go, go Cats for that one. <laughs> uh, we're going to hear from Mark Manning here in a little bit. And I think that I think they're really excited, Jessica, to get back to Maryland for the Big Tens. Saturday, Sunday, BTN will have full coverage of the two-day event. It's a terrific wrestling. I mean, it's kind of a mini NCAA. I mean, the top teams of the country pretty much reside in the Big Ten with Penn State and Iowa, and then Nebraska's right there in that group. 
Uh, but I think they're excited. I think they're really looking forward to going and competing, and I think they have a shot at winning this thing. Yeah, they do, and and especially as we've talked about too, just the way that some of the other the other schools that go try to maybe save their legs for nationals, we have seen some of those guys opt out and yeah. not wrestle in the Big Ten. So you never know, but you certainly have some guys that are have been there, done that. They have some experience and are pretty hungry and are not afraid to go try to make a run at a Big Ten title and then turn right around and do it with a national title. And so, you know, it also can build some confidence if you go win a Big Ten title and then take it into the NCAAs. But, yeah, a guy like Ridge Lovett, you know, he wants it. He wants to get a Big Ten title and um, some of those other guys. So it's, uh, yeah, this is a group that certainly has the – the depth and talent and the guys that can certainly compete for a Big Ten title. You just, it's a good mix because there's a couple new faces on their lineup, but Lenny Pinto and Silas Allred and Brock Hardy, th those guys have wrestled a lot and they've been in this atmosphere before. I think that will help them. Well, Silas is the defending champ. He's right. And um, Lenny I forgot where he finished, but maybe third, third or something. I think third, maybe. Um, and Ridge hasn't been in this thing, and he I, loves the Big Ten. I, I didn't even mention Peyton Robb. I you mean, know? Peyton Robb, too. Um, and so, so, yeah, certainly there are some guys that been there, done that. And, uh, you know, the like you said, the atmosphere is typically really good, and it's packed in of all the different schools because it, it is. It's, it's the best wrestling conference in the country. It's not even close. Right. And so the way that teams travel for Iowa, they travel for Penn State, there will be some Nebraska fans there and Michigan fans, the way that, that fans travel and support wrestling, they all – you know, they all can get, they all gather in one place and it is loud. It's wild. And it's a lot like, oh, kind of a little bit like a, maybe a tennis match. There's a million things going on at once. And so you can watch multiple different matches going on and it's, it's a lot of fun. And, and you're talking about a group of guys that are all not just Nebraska guys, but almost every single guy that advances in the big tens are going to be competing for national titles. There's just, it's like you can go down the list and there are several guys that are in the hunt to just go from Big Tens to the NCAAs and both make runs at both places. So it's just, it's an exciting event. With it being at Maryland, that's pretty close to Penn State. I, I, my gut says there'll be an awful lot of Nittany Lion fans there and hopefully they'll be saying that, hey, Husker fans show up everywhere. So you'll know there'll be some folks chanting Go Big Reds for that. Again, it starts Saturday. We'll hear from Mark Manning coming up here in just a little bit. We're also in hour two, we're going to hear from Allison Widener, and she's part of your Wednesday Women's Podcast of the Week. Allison certainly had that devastating injury during preseason camp leading up to the season, kept her out for the entire year. I think, man, I think she'd have made a difference in a couple of Absolutely. ball games for Nebraska this year. Yeah, she's, um, you know, that when this team talks about the adversity that they've had to work through this season, that was one of the biggest ones because she's getting back. She's such a, she's so well liked on the team. She does so much. And when you talk about a team that is, has a player like Alexis Markowski and then a bunch of shooters, Allison Widener has proven that how good she is at getting to the rim. So she adds, she's that player that is so good at maybe adding a different element that, and, and hey, how many times have we seen her when they needed a bucket? go get it in yeah. big time moments. So, you know, it was just, it was devastating. It really hurt. That was hard for them to work through at the beginning of the season, but she's taken on a different role. And like we, we hear a lot of the athletes when they have to sit on the side and learn a lot of different things, a lot of different aspects, the mental aspect of the game really grows. And you and I were talking last night about the depth or the, the young talent she's still got at least two more years left yeah and i don't know how much i don't know if she can apply for the red shirt for last or yeah last know. not last year the first her before her she first would probably injury. have a covid year to mix in there right i don't or know did she show up the year after covid she was the year after covid okay but she was just a sophomore when she got hurt yeah so she still has at least two more years unless she could but i think it was past the 30 percent mark i think so too because it, it was, was the kansas was game right in christmas it was yeah. signing day that right. when all that crazy weather came in because my dad and I were listening to it on the radio well, she got hurt. trying to beat the weather right before Christmas. That's right. So I would think that the percentage, she played too much of it. So she would have two left. But she still has two years yeah. left. So you're talking about, you know, um, that's another player to add to the mix that has some experience, but yet still has two more years left in a Husker uniform. So there's going to, that, that adds to that group that we were talking about last night about that, how exciting it is to look forward to with the women's basketball team. Hey, add Allison Weiner to the mix. And one of the things with her, and you'll hear her talk about it a little bit, but 
where she needed to improve was her shot. And so being that you have to be so careful and cautious with, with how you start cutting and all of that, she was able to really work and hone in on improving her shot. And that was already making leaps and bounds progress. So, you know, she's really been focusing on that because it's one of the few things that she you could do, do and can do. And yeah. so uh, I think she's, you're going to see, and obviously I have no doubt that she's going to bounce back from it, but you know, it's just, um, it's been a long time since she's been on the court. Be almost, almost two full years when she takes the court next November. She had been practicing and she played in the, the scrimmage and then got hurt in that practice right after, but she was not a hundred percent at that point. Right. So she hadn't been quite back a hundred percent before she even got hurt. So, but either way, just her, her presence on the floor, she could be a troop. She's a point guard and can no doubt add a, a big element to this team when she gets back. So we'll hear part of that podcast coming up in hour number two. We'll also hear from Riley Silva, the new center fielder for Will Bolt. Huskers have their home opener on Friday afternoon against South Alabama, four o'clock out at Hay Haymarket Park. Uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday matchup with the Jags, who they're off to a good start. I believe they're 10-2. and two. They're playing tonight uh, down in Mobile, and then they'll fly to, to Omaha and then bust down to Lincoln tomorrow for that. So Riley Silva coming up in the second hour of the program. 402-413-2400. That's the number to be a part of the show tonight. Our text lines are open. Rudy in Florida says, hey, guys, appreciate all the great coverage you give us Husker sports for us Husker junkies. Go Big Red. Well, that's, that's what our purpose is, is to do all that for you guys on a nightly basis. All right, when we come back, we'll talk a little wrestling. Well, first, let me tell you that Woodhouse Auto Family is your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at Woodhouse. Com. We're talk back to talk to head coach Mark Manning. We'll do that next. Woodhouse has got you covered for your next car, truck, or SUV. We are committed to making the car buying and owning experience better thanks to our knowledgeable sales staff and factory certified technicians. You can discover our large inventory of new and pre-owned vehicles anytime at Woodhouse.com, where we have made buying a car easier than ever. Whether you need a family hauling SUV, a car to take you around town, or a hardworking truck, Woodhouse has something for everyone. Let's face it, nothing makes you look older than you really are than thinning hair. But what if you could not only increase your hair count, but promote new hair growth without surgery, without drugs with potential side effects, and without a prescription from your doctor? Well, now you can, thanks to a breakthrough new supplement called Hair Grow. Provided by New Nordic, the number one supplier of dietary supplements in Europe. Hair Grow is now available in the U.S. Only Hair Grow contains Tokogaya, a powerful antioxidant that has received a U.S. patent. Multiple clinical studies show Hair Grow is safe and effective in promoting new hair growth. In one study, 95% of the patients using Hair Grow saw increased hair count. Don't lose more time and more hair. Try Hair Grow today to feel and look your best. Just go to NewNordicUSA.com or visit Walgreens or Amazon to purchase. Look younger and feel more confident with Hair Grow by New Nordic at NewNordicUSA.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. TNL Irrigation Company knows their way around a field and across it into the corners. And even through storms, TNL engineers are constantly working on solutions producers need, like the new Gooseneck Cradle Corner System Attachment. It greatly improves corner span stability to tackle steep terrain and stand up to high winds. If you're looking to upgrade your corner system or add on new, call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com to learn more. TNL, like no other. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. 
from the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. A few drinks at home after work, a couple of hits at a party with some friends, over-the-counter drugs for a minor illness, a new daily prescription, and you're not quite sure how it makes you feel. It doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If it impairs you, driving becomes deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Start your next journey with Woodhouse. Our commitment extends beyond just selling cars. We offer an unparalleled car buying experience that allows you to shop and buy all online. Explore an array of new brands, makes, and models, as well as our large selection of pre-owned vehicles. And it's easy to get started today with our streamlined purchasing process online, granting you the freedom to secure your next vehicle anytime, anywhere. Discover a better way to buy with Woodhouse. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Delighted to be joined by the head wrestling coach of the Corn Huskers, Mark Manning. Congratulations. What a heck of a regular season. You should yeah. be really proud of the guys. Yeah, for sure. 12 and 2. We had a really good season. Um, you know, just uh, a lot of development. Uh, from our young guys, you know, guys like Jacob Van D and Antrell Taylor, you know, all the way through the lineup. Any, any guys like Lenny Pinto and and um, and obviously our new addition, Nash Huntmaker, really made a lot of gain the last couple of months. So really proud of these guys and really, really excited about their future here. I was going to ask you about Jacob because I, you and I have talked about a lot of your guys. So I'm not sure we've talked about him. Tell yes. us about him and the, and the progress you saw him make this year. Well, I think Jacob Van D just fits our culture and our team perfectly. He's a redshirt freshman from Erie, Pennsylvania. And uh, we knew we got a really good one when we recruited Jacob. Um, we just, we knew his work ethic. And he's just a gritty, tough kid. He's, you know, he's blue collar, kind of yeah. like our identity our, of our team. You yeah. know, he just fits our culture. And, you know, earlier this year, he, he went one and two at Las Vegas tournament. And now where he is, you know, he, won, he lost one dual meet uh, out of nine at, in the Big Ten. So he had a, he had a great year. And, um, you know, now, it, now it's all about postseason. He's a, you know, he's a great competitor. He comes from the state of Pennsylvania, two-time state champ, and really accomplished guy. So he's, he's ready for these big moments. And, uh, you know, he, that's where he thrives. So really looking forward to see how he does this weekend and then at the NCAA tournament. He's been just so fun to watch. Match, yes. match in and match out. He's been great. All right, here's Big Ten. You're headed to Maryland for the weekend. Uh, you got some good seeds, right? You have to like kind of the way the seeding fell out. Yeah, we, we do. You know, you, you kind of get what you earn there. And, and I think, you know, I, I think in particular Jacob Van D, we, we thought he'd be much higher. He, he beat the number one seed. Uh, during the year, and, and he only has one loss in the league, so that's kind of a perplexing. But yeah. you do what you have to do, and you you got to knock them down each day. So we're really focused on Saturday and just taking care of business. And in tournament action, it's it's really match by match, and just getting your guys ready to go. And I like where these guys are right now; they're rested and we're healthy. You've got a handful of veterans, and that that. That probably pays off in this kind of a setting, doesn't it? They've been in this before, Lenny yeah. and Ridge and Brock. Silas. So that yeah. has to help, doesn't it, to go sure. through it? For sure. Brock, uh, you know, Brock and Peyton and Ridge and Silas, like you mentioned, these these guys, Bubba Wilson even, you know, he's been in. Yeah. He's been in these battles. And so, um, you know, really excited to see where, where they land this weekend. And, you know, them competing together as a team and – 
you know, really when we, we get into Big Ten and Nationals, you really see how guys feed off each other. And uh, when one guy goes out, the confidence and just the courage that's uh, displayed among the team and, and within the team is, is really great to see as a coach. All right, you wrestled at Arizona State. That was your last regular season. What, how did you approach the, about the 10-day period? Did you give a couple days off? How did you handle that? Yeah, we did. Uh, after, after Penn State, we gave them a couple days off, and then we amped back up a couple days. We, we, we basically went two, two days hard and then one day off and then two days hard and, and kind of uh, just made sure our team was fresh but didn't have a letdown. And, uh, you know, our guys did, did well. We didn't wrestle our, you know, our very, very best at Arizona State, but we didn't wrestle bad. And so I think just getting through that season – through the regular season and just making sure we're injury free. And we had a couple guys banged up going in that match and they're, <clears throat> they're hundred percent now and we're, we're healthy and ready to go. Have you changed your philosophy at all in your coaching <laughs> career? Kind of at this time of year, has that, have you tweaked that at all? Absolutely. Uh, Greg, that's funny. It's, you know, it's just more is not um, better right now. Yeah. Less. Yeah. You know, less is better. And, you know, I even talked to Fred Hoiberg about this, you know, just, just the other day about, you know, just giving them rest. Rest is, is the most critical element to, to the development piece and, and, and just being fresh and, you know, mentally being ready. Everyone talks about, hey, it's about being mentally tough. It's about men mentally fresh. Yeah. Be mentally fresh to, to give your best because you're going to, you're going to be challenged, and the, these are challenging times. When Big Ten tournament, NCAA tournament, people are fighting for, 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 uh, <laughs> for a lot of lot of things out there. And so you're, you you have to be mentally fresh and and giving guys days off and making sure, know when to push them and when to back off. And some guys need more than others. Some need less. You mentioned you didn't wrestle your best at ASU. One guy that got tripped up was Ridge. Yeah. Um, in the long run, may that help him a little bit, you think, or not? Yeah, you know. You don't want to lose. But. Yeah, I don't want to lose, but, you know, it's it's not going to be a difference maker, really, for Ridge here moving forward. Um, you know, he, he was a little banged up coming into that match, but no excuses. Ridge is not that guy. He sat on that side and cheered his team on right after he got beat. So that's, that's the type of not only competitor, but a type of teammate he is. You know, he, he wants his team to win and he wants his team to dominate and he's going he's gonna to do everything he can to have that happen. So I think it's, um, you know, if it, ha if it happened, it happened at the right time and now he's back. He's, got, he's re energized and ready to go and that weight of being undefeated and is off your back and you don't have to deal with it anymore, you know. He's got a target on his back, though, Coach. Right? I mean, he's the yeah. he's the guy. I mean, he's the guy, and he's you know number one ranked right now still. And you know, <clears throat> there's a there's you know we talk about it all the time. There's a privilege uh, to be to be the best, and you know you, everyone wants to be the best. Right. But you, you're privileged when you get that opportunity to to um, have that honor, and you 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 know you have to be ready for it. You have to be ready for that challenge to know that. You're not the hunter. Hunt, you're the, you're the hunter. You're not the hunter yeah. anymore, and it's a different mindset. No doubt. Busy with Husker Wrestling, Coach Mark Manning here on Sports Nine. You mentioned Nash. What's it been like to coach him? Uh, it's been wonderful experience. He's, you know, it's a uh, it's an experience where he, it's it's it feels like Nash has been on our team, just his bonding with our guys on our team. Obviously, he sees. Uh, a lot of our guys in the training table the last four years, but they've never practiced with him. They've never traveled with him and competed with him. And and uh, a, a, both ways, our guys love Nash being, and Nash loves being part of our team. And and really, it's part of a bigger family, you know, Husker Husker Nation. And Nash just epitomizes uh, what what uh, what our our sports all about and and what I know coach rule wants for his program you know being blue collar being tough and being a competitor and uh Nash has really he really has enjoyed his experience and man what a what a great kid and I I wish him the best after 
after this wrestling season, he's going to have a great football season. I know next year and and in the, in the future, he's it's been a pleasure to be have him, and we're just blessed to have him. How big of a challenge is this week for him, having mm -hmm. to do multiple matches in a short amount of time? Yeah, Nash is uh, he's he's in good shape, Greg. I think he's he's ready for this challenge. You know, it's going to come down to a couple matches for him to qualify because he's he's the ten seed. And, and they're only taking right now seven or eight at that weight class. So he's got to earn a spot to, yeah. to make a national tournament. Rightly so, he's only wrestled, you know, eight or nine matches. So right. it's not a big deal. He knows what he's up against. And, you know, I, I know this. I, I wouldn't want to be one of those other heavyweights. <laughs> Besides <laughs> Kurt Fleet at, at yeah. Penn State. Besides that, Nash can wrestle with any of those guys. So we're really, we're really pumped about him and um, excited to see you know his journey continue you you've got such an interesting sport in the fact that it's an individual sport and yet we keep a team score yeah how how big of a deal is it for you mm -hmm. to maybe go win this thing as a team well it's it's a big thing you know i <clears throat> i think about you know david needed a goliath right to be david <laughs> <laughs> and that's what we're facing a little bit you know yeah there's been five wrestlers in 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 the history of college ref, wrestling to win four national titles they have two on their team right now going for their fourth in aaron brooks and carter shirachi so you know they they're 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 a gauntlet but they're definitely it's it's definitely doable we we just have to go and and do our thing and i think you know really starts with caleb smith and he 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 uh he starts us off the right way we we can get rolling so it's it's a fun and it's a great challenge and it's what what this team is really made of they uh they have a lot of grit and a lot of just a lot of spirit among our team and togetherness is is uh it's always always been a thing for us and so i think these guys are are really super excited about this challenge gonna be fun saturday sunday at maryland btn's got coverage of both days this is a fun, fun event. We had it here in Lincoln a few years ago. People are still talking about that. This is a yeah. big time event. Yeah, it's it's big time, and uh, you know, these guys are are ready for that that atmosphere, and you know, they're they're naturally jacked up in a few weeks. Go to Kansas City, so yeah. right down the road. And man, I wish we had a couple more hundred tickets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, the ticket requests are are off the charts right now. So <laughs> yeah, it's it's good to have. I have all those people uh, wanting to go. It's a good problem to have. Yeah. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Greg. Mark Manning, Husker Wrestling Coach with us here on Sports Sunday. What else? Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. More of the show coming up next. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Ford Truck Month, and we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series, including the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. It's time to celebrate, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on F-150 plus a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Don't miss out on limited time appliance deals during the closeout event at Lowe's. Get up to 35% off select major appliances. Plus, save an extra $100 when you spend $999 or more on all major appliances. Hurry, these deals are too good to last long. Shop in store or online today because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid 1 4 through 124. Selection varies by location while supplies last. See Lowe's.com for details. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. 
Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks. Foundation solutions crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Hey, Huskers, it's a new day in Nebraska. Manzer Equipment, Mertz Farm Equipment, and West Point Implement of Columbus have teamed up as True Ag and Turf. Coach Rule is bringing innovation and high-performance standards to Husker football, and True Ag is doing the same to your farm with game-changing Fent equipment. As Big Red establishes power on the field, True Ag and Turf does the same in the field by welcoming Fent to Nebraska. Notto Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and a whole lot more. Acres Solutions for every field. Greg Sharp, Jessica Cooney with you here on a Wednesday night. Thanks to the coach for spending some time with us. They're headed out uh, tomorrow to get to Maryland for the Saturday-Sunday Big Ten Championships. Good luck to them. We'll be monitoring that all weekend long. Well, yesterday, the Big Ten Conference announced their uh, awards for Big Ten women's basketball on the eve of the tournament. And one of the Huskers that was uh, on that award list was Logan Nisley, who was named on the all-freshman team along with Natalie Potts, who we heard from last night. Jessica had a chance to catch up with Logan yesterday. Well, how are you feeling going into your first postseason? I'm so excited. Like Nat said, like this has been a dream of mine since I was a little girl. So to be able to do it with this team is really special, and we're just ready to make a run for it. Certainly have been provided a huge spark off the bench this whole season, but what's gone into this role here lately and, and doing more and stepping up and, and playing that bigger role? I just think confidence. The whole This whole year, like the whole team and the whole coaching staff has had confidence in me, but I think recently, like, everything's just starting to settle in and, like, the pieces are getting put in place, and so I think having confidence in myself has been a big piece of it. What goes into that confidence and building that confidence? The work we put in. I think we go to work every day in practice and we focus on what we need to focus on, and so I think the trust piece that we have with each other and then knowing that, like, we know what we have to do, we know what we're capable of, and so then just going out and doing it. 
So um, the way that this team finds you sometimes when, when they need a big bucket, um, how, how great is that? How special is that? How much fun is that to be able to know, like, you know, they're finding you in your spots when you, and you're feeling good when it's releasing your hands? I just think, like, the way that our team works together is so special. I think that yeah, it's really hard to find that. And we have people on the floor at all times. We have a very deep bench, people on the floor that are just capable of making plays. And so being able to help my team with that and, like, every spot that they need me I think is really special. Don't call you just a shooter. What's gone into your rebounding and your uh, ability to be able to provide that aspect to this team? Yeah, I think when we scout other teams, like their rebounding guards are really hard to guard and really hard to find. And so um, being able to provide that for our team, I think when we can score on second chances, that really knocks the wind out of the other team. So being able to do that for us has really, really been awesome for me, I think. I just talked to Allison Weiner this morning, and boy, she just raved about you and, and how special the relationship has been. What has she provided to you this season? How much has she helped you in the perspective she's provided to you overall on the bench? Oh my gosh, Allison, we call her my shooting coach. She calls, <laughs> she calls herself the shot doctor. So whenever a shot doesn't go in or a couple or whatever, she'll look at me and she'll be like, you're just thinking about it too much. And once, or, once in a while, she'll give me a pointer on what to do with my follow through or whatever. But she is so special. I can't wait to play with her. I think like her going down, really really uh was frustrating and super sad and i think that practice that it happened like all of us were in the circle and we were crying and just knowing how much work that she puts into this sport and how much love she has for it um she's just been such a leader and such a good role model for me as a guard um so i'm really excited to be able to play with her next year you know just uh, how much is that an example of this team and, and the chemistry that you guys have that she's willing to continue to be a part and and several and it just seems like you guys are so close but just that example especially just how much that def, does that define the relationship this this team has yeah I think this team has faced a lot of adversity whether that's injury or you know anything that uh, people want to throw at us I think we've handled that really well and we're all super close I don't think that you're gonna find two girls that are not close on this team and I don't think that you're gonna find that anywhere else and so like I said just being a part of this team is really special and the relationship that Al and I have have and then that I have with everyone else on this team is just really awesome and I'm excited to be able to play with them. How about your fellow freshman, Big Ten freshman of the year, Natalie Potts? I mean, that was a given. I just think, like you said, like eight time freshman of the week is crazy. I don't think anyone else has ever done that. Um, but I just think it's so much fun to play with each other. Like I think us three as freshmen making an impact at the Big Ten I think is crazy in itself. But us three are very close and I think being on the court with each other, our chemistry is unmatched. We always know where the other one is, but I think Nat just makes a huge impact for us at the start of the game, throughout the game, at the end of the game. So whenever having her on the floor, you just know something good's going to happen. All right, go, what goes into this week for this team to be able to go uh, maybe win a few games there up in Minneapolis? Yeah, I just think, like Nat said, we have to focus. Um, we have to, you know, look at every opponent with the same thing. Like, we just have to be ready to win. We have to be ready to play, and I think good things will happen. Appreciate your time. Thank you. I really like her. I think she's going to be a fan favorite uh, by the time her career is said and done. But, you know, I go back to what Courtney said a couple, I don't, can't remember the last conversation I had with him, but I was asking what's gone into this team, starting to put together some things and play some of their best basketball. He thought her moving into that starting lineup, the role that she's playing has really paid, played a big role in, in them putting it all together and, and starting to find a rhythm and um, you know you talk about her shooting which it's undeniable she can shoot the basketball but I mean she can go after rebounds and boards and um, you know as is not just a shooter by any means but uh, she certainly has come along here this freshman season. Isn't it interesting those little tweaks in a lineup mid-season late season Logan for the women and really Jamarcus Lawrence coming out for the men it's it's just interesting this something a little subtle like that kind of gets a spark going. Well, and I think it allows, it takes maybe some pressure off of Jazz to feel like she's got to knock down Somebody every three can, because, yeah. and and I, I feel like that's what I was asking her about, but the way that Jazz finds her and is able to get her shot and, and get her a good look too, I think they play really well off of each other. And so I think that plays a part in it too, just, you know, maybe alleviating some of the pressure off of Jazz to be able to be the one that knocks down all the shots from the outside. Let's update you from Minneapolis, Northwestern leading Purdue 53-49, minute and a half left third quarter. The winner of that game gets the Huskers tomorrow around 2 o'clock. Our pregame coverage will begin at 1 tomorrow. It'll be 25 minutes after game one ends. Game one starts at 1130 tomorrow. So we're keeping an eye on that one 
from uh, the Twin Cities. Also keeping an eye on the men's game, Northwestern leading Michigan State. Boo, we don't want that. 22 to 20, 41 seconds left on the first half up in East Lansing. So we'll keep an eye on those things as we make our way through the show here tonight. 402-413-2400, the number if you want to be a part of the program. Fire off a text. We'd love to converse with you that way. That is our Woodhouse Auto Family Hotline. They are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient Sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. We're back to wrap up hour one next. Woodhouse has got you covered for your next car, truck, or SUV. We are committed to making the car buying and owning experience better thanks to our knowledgeable sales staff and factory certified technicians. You can discover our large inventory of new and pre-owned vehicles anytime at woodhouse.com where we have made buying a car easier than ever. Whether you need a family hauling SUV, a car to take you around town, or a hard-working truck, Woodhouse has something for everyone. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America's heartland. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks, foundation solutions crafted with pride the official foundation company of the Huskers. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Rick Sharp, Jessica Cootie with you for the last segment of our number one. They're about to go to the fourth quarter up in Minneapolis, 55-52, Northwestern with a lead over Purdue. They, Cats had about a 10-point lead earlier in the quarter, so Purdue has kind of fought back into that again. The winner of that game gets the Cornhuskers tomorrow uh, in the first appearance for Amy Williams' squad up in Minneapolis. You know, spring break's next week. How about that? Seems early, doesn't it? No. no? I don't know. I Because we've always, I've always worked in sports, I don't even know. You never I, Never much. got a spring break. It's always tournament time. It's always work time. Spring football usually is about to start right. starting you got baseball softball i just i've never really paid it much attention because it's just it's another work week for us duke's heading to california he's gonna go live it up mm. going to disneyland he's gonna go try to find the, the bachelor yeah be on the bachelorette yeah, he's all into that thing so i think uh, marie is gonna be the next bachelorette so I, he's gonna go audition look look and see if he can find her walking <laughs> around no it's wilshire boulevard or something out there and in Los Angeles. Yeah, I w I'm with you. I, I never did much in college with spring break because I was usually covering a or going to a high school state tournament or something like that going on. So it's never been a big thing for me either. One of the spring breaks, I had a torn ACL. Oh, yuck. Yeah. Yuck. That's not, that's so, not much fun. And then I had, you know, after that happened, you're told you're, you can't ski, you know, for a while. And so then it seemed like People went to ski, and I just didn't really, I, I had no, I wanted to go to warm. If I'm going to go on a vacation, yeah. I don't want to go to snow. I want to go to the warm. So I've actually never been skiing ever in my life. It's hard work. Yeah. Yeah, it is hard work. I don't work. know if my knees can handle it's it now. It's been years since I've done it. Cam, or Duke, you guys ever skied? Never. Nope. Need a wow. one? Wow. How about, well, I'm the only one in the room that's skied before. 
It's kind of an odd little deal there. So, uh, state tournaments going on. The boys this week, we got kind of a quad box going on in our studio here with cameras at the Devaney Center and also Pinnacle Bank Arena. PBA's got Class A, the boys going on tonight, their quarterfinal round. They've got two games finished. They've got a third game going on, and then it'll be the last game of the night over there. So, fun week going on in Lincoln with all that. The Fighting Bennings. Yep. Damon's son, Kayla, plays for the Omaha West Side. They play the late game tonight. So, we'll, we'll watch that a little bit. I'll Damon had a birthday last week. I bet Damon is so nervous. <laughs> Probably is. I think he gets nervous for, especially when he's not coaching. Yeah. Because I remember this time last year when they were in the state tournament, he was pretty nervous because he's he doesn't really have any control over it. When he's playing football, he's on the sideline coaching. We should send him a little pack of Starburst so that he can chew on those. No while... high chews. I'm just kidding. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Just kidding. And he'd probably what, go what? And, Throw them away. And chocolate chip cookies. Yeah. <laughs> he'd go. Where's my oatmeal raisins? Got to have those mm -hmm. uh, coming in. So, uh, love this time of year. You got the high schools going on with the state tournaments, the Big Ten women's tournaments going on. Last night, it was interesting. I was slipping around and I stumbled upon Oklahoma Cincinnati men's basketball from Norman. And I'll, I'll tell you, and I sent you a text about this later, or a tweet somebody put up. There weren't a lot of people in the stands for that yeah. game. It's really sad. Man. It's gone downhill. Um, you know, a lot of people will say that the Oklahoma City Thunder have played a role in that. It's probably fair. But to me, I just don't know if they've been big basketball fans for, for some time now, especially with Oklahoma. Even, you know, before the Thunder got there, they weren't, their attendance wasn't great. Uh, Oklahoma State was, absolutely. They had good attendance for a long time there in Gallagher-Iba. But I, I just, I think that Oklahoma State's not very good right now. And Oklahoma, it, it's, they just have not supported basketball in the way that a lot of, a lot of places do. I mean, when I was there, they had a team that went to the Final Four, and the only games that they Trey sold Young's out. Team, right? Well, no, the year, the two years before that, when okay. it was Buddy Hill. Buddy Hill. Yeah. Love Buddy Hill. And um, so they they were really good that year, and the only games that sold out were Kansas because Kansas travels. It's half the half the stadium is Kansas fans. Texas and Oklahoma State because again Oklahoma State fans travel and so it's you kind of got a split arena there and then Texas is the is the big rivalry and Texas is typically pretty good. Those are the only three games that sold out during Buddy's year. Wow. That went to the Final Four and then two years later was Trey Young who is the most electric player in college basketball that season and they didn't have very many sellouts. I think they had two that year and again it was Kansas and Oklahoma State. So it just they just. That just goes to show you, even when the basketball teams are good, they, still don't show up. they don't show up. And that's why I've said since I've gotten here, the way that the Husker fans support sports all around that's not just football. I mean, yeah, Oklahoma fans, they support their football, but they just, the basketball, they just have not been very supportive of. I mean, that goes back for, for years, but I don't know what what the deal is with Oklahoma State other than they're just not as good this year. Yeah, Coach Boyden's had a tough run there. I think he's a good man. I just can't get much going. And, yeah, the, the thing I sent you had a crowd shot from both, from gallagher Iba and also from Lloyd Noble. And you're like, man, that's just kind of sad to see that. Yeah, and, I, I mean, I do think, you know, of course, back when Billy Tubbs was the coach, they, they sold out. They and all, and But and even when Blake Griffin was there, it was probably a little bit. But it just started to to trail, trail off, off and they just have not you'd think that you would have a sellout every single game when you have a final four type team and they just they didn't that's sad you know and that's too bad because it's i know that they love college sports in that state but for some reason they're not putting their arms around the basketball programs down there right now in oklahoma they do here in fact a mutual friend of ours, Kenny Mossman, who was the longtime sports information director, he'd always used to kid me, like, yeah, I know, in Lincoln, Nebraska, you roll any kind of ball out there and the fans just fill up the stands. And he's not wrong, and we just do. People, us, people love this university and their sports teams, and that's a, a great benefit we have here. What's crazy is Oklahoma is the men's team. They were top, they were ranked, they were undefeated for a while. They got in the top 15, I Yes, think. and then they're still projected, I think, to make the NCAA tournament. Yeah, they are. And they still are not getting good crowds. But look look at the difference to this team here. You know, it's, it, they support no matter what, but then when they're good, it's just electric around here. And it just, they just don't get the same kind of momentum there for the sports that aren't football. Mm. 
Interesting stuff. All right, uh, next hour, we're going to hear from Allison Widener. She's Jessica's subject for this week's Wednesday's Women's Podcast. We'll hear a good chunk of that for you. Also hear from Riley Silva, Husker center fielder, who has been electric in his first few games as a Cornhusker, a junior college entry to Will Bolt's program. The Huskers had their home opener Friday against South Alabama, 4.05, first pitch at Haymarket Park. Could be a little chilly I think they're going to be okay weather, I mean, precipitation-wise, but it may only be in the mid-40s for the first pitch of that game on Friday. Gets better as we get into the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. But, hey, it is early March in Lincoln. We Mid-40s is not that uncommon to have that. We'll also continue to monitor these basketball scores. Purdue has now actually jumped ahead of Northwestern up in the, the Target Center. Again, the winner of that game gets the Huskers tomorrow. And uh, Michigan State men look terrible first half. Only scored 20 points against Northwestern at home. Huskers are big fans of Sparty tonight because that could certainly help Nebraska get that double bye for the men's tournament, which is in a week from uh, today is when that one will get going as well. Some really good games around the country tonight. Duke gave you those in the ticker. You've got the big battle in the Big East with UConn and Marquette set to tip off in about 30 minutes. That's a top uh, 10 matchup uh, in the Big East tonight and some other games around the country that are pretty cool as well. Monitor all of that and talk more with you coming up on the other side. Also time to tell you that the Woodhouse Auto family is your trusted auto partner. They have 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. One hour in the books. That was fun, right? Hour two coming up on the other side. Come on back. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hey, Huskers. It's a new day in Nebraska. Manzer Equipment, Mertz Farm Equipment, and West Point Implement of Columbus have teamed up as True Ag and Turf. Coach Rule is bringing innovation and high-performance standards to Husker football, and True Ag is doing the same to your farm with game-changing Fent Equipment. As Big Red establishes power on the field, True Ag and Turf does the same in the field by welcoming Fent to Nebraska. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions. Cow chip throwing. Or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. Start your next journey with Woodhouse. Our commitment extends beyond just selling cars. We offer an unparalleled car buying experience that allows you to shop and buy all online. Explore an array of new brands, makes, and models, as well as our large selection of pre-owned vehicles. And it's easy to get started today with our streamlined purchasing process online, granting you the freedom to secure your next vehicle anytime, anywhere. Discover a better way to buy with Woodhouse.
Good evening. I'm Duke Root, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Nebraska swimmer Gina Jorgensen has been selected to represent the Huskers at the 2024 NCAA Championships, March 20th to the 23rd in Athens, Georgia. The sophomore from Aberdeen, South Dakota, punched her ticket in the 1650 freestyle, 500 freestyle, and 400 intermediate relay. The Nebraska softball team has added home games to its schedule on Tuesday, March 12th at Bowen Stadium. The Huskers will host Northern Colorado at noon and Maine at 5. In Big Ten men's basketball tonight, Northwestern leads Michigan State 25-20 at half. If Michigan State wins and Nebraska wins on Saturday, the Huskers will get the third seed in the Big Ten tournament. And also playing tonight is Minnesota versus Indiana. In the top 25, we have number 17, South Carolina, trailing number four, Tennessee, 38 to 28 in the second half. Number two, UConn versus number eight, Marquette. And number 20, BYU versus number six, Iowa State. The first round of the Big Ten Women's Tournament is tonight with Northwestern trailing Purdue 63 to 58 late in the fourth with the winner facing the Huskers tomorrow. And Rutgers versus Minnesota later. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Coming up next is Hour 2 of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who remind you to buckle up and put the phone down. The pump fake by Mass, step back three on the way. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Holy smokes, holy cow. The Flying Dutchman with a big three to tie it at 65. Andrews lines toward right, and it's over the head of Medellin and rolling all the way to the wall. Billy on her way to second, not stopping there. The car's relay from short right field is wide of the mark. Billy Andrews with a leadoff triple. Brian Webb with the 3-0 pitch. Drilled into center field. Long run again for Verduzco. Onto the track, looking up, and it is gone. Home run, Josh Karen's second home run of the night. This one a three-run blast to right center field, and Nebraska now leads it 9-1. to one. Chili throws down low. Markowski kicks it out to Jazz. Knocked away by Marshall. Seven to shoot. Six to shoot. Chili for three. You! Betcha! Huskers take their first lead of the game with 30 seconds left. Here are your hosts, Greg Sharp and Jessica Cootie on the Huskers Radio Network. Back for hour number two of our Hump Day show. Hope you had a great day today, getting closer to another weekend. And for the folks on campus here at UNL, it's spring break coming up after... Everybody wraps up their campus activities on Friday. Seems early to me, but uh, I guess it is about to be the second week of March. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that scoreboard with those games that have interest. Obviously, the women's matchup will be determined once that goes final in Minneapolis. Purdue has now forged ahead, leading the Wildcats. So Nebraska, 67-61 score. So the Boilermakers look like they would. And that's, I would, that's what I would have guessed. That's who we would play tomorrow. But Northwestern played really well for the first half of that game. That game tomorrow, around 2 o'clock, might be a little bit earlier. Our pregame coverage will begin at 1 with Matt Cotney and Jeff Grish. Well, Jessica's been putting together these Wednesday women's podcasts, talking to members of the Husker Athletic Department and student-athletes. And this week, she focused in on Allison Widener, the Husker women's basketball player who unfortunately has missed the last year plus with knee problems. Here's part of that conversation with Allison. Well, how, how is it going for the team this week? Uh, coming off the loss at Illinois, hard-fought loss, but going into this week of preparation, knowing that, hey, the Big Ten tournament's coming up now. I think uh, we're just super excited and really motivated. We want to make a big run in this tournament, and we know we can. Uh, we just know that we have to take it one game at a time and that no games from here on out are going to be easy, and we just got to really focus on the opponent right in front of us and take care of business one game at a time. So big news coming out today, uh, Natalie Potts, Big Ten Freshman of the Year. How about that? What, how, what can you say about the way that she's played and, and the role that she stepped into for this team this season? Uh, yeah, I think just right off the bat, she's really embraced her role um, and just has been amazing uh, all year. Uh, you just, uh, she makes all kinds of plays, defensive plays, offensive plays. Uh, you can almost always count on her to make some sort of play that you might not expect, but somehow she does it, and 
Uh, she's just a go-getter. What clicks for her at halftime? Sometimes when, you know, you guys need the biggest plays in the second half, it seems like she really emerges. So what happens to her in that locker room in the halftime when she comes out and starts delivering those big plays? I don't know if anything necessarily happens. <laughs> I think she holds herself to a high standard, and mm -hmm. she probably knows when she's not playing the way that she wants to play, and I think that goes for anyone, and I think that it's pretty incredible that she can flip a switch like that from one half to the other. Player that you came in with, you guys are freshmen together, Alexis Markowski, it's just been unbelievable this season. What's been your perspective of her growth, where she was when y'all came in together, and to where she is now one of the most dom dominant post players, not just in this conference, but in the country? Yeah, uh, first of all, I think she's just a great leader for our team, and she's just amazing everything she does on the court, and she's going to fight her butt off in the paint. She's going to get physical, and you can almost always count on that she is going to catch the ball and make a, a great finish for you. So there's no doubt for the guards that if they get the ball to Lex, that she's going to make a big play for us. And I think she just overall she's finishing way better, just doing great o overall. And defensively is doing a great job and obviously snagging down a lot of boards. <laughs> and even the ones that maybe she didn't get, she tips out to somebody. Yeah, yep. What does that do for a guard, having a post, playing with a post like that? Gives us a lot of confidence, um, you know, just knowing that we can kick or throw it into Lex and she can make the right read, either go up and score or kick it out to us and repost so we can get it back to her. Uh, she's just been really good at that all year. So uh, I wanted to dive into your rehab, of course. Um, uh, it's been hard, I know, for fans that wanting you back out on the court. I know you want to be back there more than anybody, but you, you were close. You were going through the rehab after the first ACL tear and then um, end up having another injury. How are you doing, first of all? I'm doing pretty good. Uh, at first, it was really hard uh, just because I knew I put in all that work to, to get back on the court and to back to the player that I was and for that to, for me to fall short of that uh, just was really heartbreaking. And, but I obviously have a great coaching staff, great teammates that you know, surrounded me immediately and, and took care of me. It, how, how did you manage that? Because you know, it's, it's de as a competitor, you want to be out there. And the rehab process for an ACL just, it's kind, of, kind of can be long and lonely at times. And so you go through all that, you're back out on the court, and then here you are, you have this, uh, this other setback. How did you manage during that time? I think a lot of it was just spending time with my teammates and my roommates. Obviously, my roommates are Alexis and both the Kendalls, and I can always count on them for a smile. And so they always keep me smiling and light on my feet, for sure. So how did the rehab process go the second time around? Because you knew what to expect, right? So how did you, once, once you, get, you work through the emotions of the initial, oh, I'm, I'm out again, to attacking another process of, of going through that rehab, what was it like the second time around? I think it was, I guess you could say easier, it just a lot smoother as well, just because I knew what to expect, and uh, I just knew that Ben and Alex were going to move, move me along at the proper pace and make sure that I get back to where I need to be, um, but obviously in no rush. At times, has it ever gotten like hard to now you know, miss a, a year and a half, a season and a half? Of being on the bench and having to remind yourself to be patient. I mean, mentally, for you know someone that might be going through a similar process, what have you found that works for you? That you know during this hard time of getting through this time. Yeah, it's definitely been hard to be patient, um, but I think I've learned a lot of patience through this, obviously. And you know, just talking to Coach Williams and talking to Ben and Alex, they're always like, "You don't need to rush. Like, we have no doubt you'll get back to the person and the player that you were." before either of these injuries happen. And so I think just, you know, like leaning into practice and like coaching up my teammates and just having fun with them on the sideline, uh, that's been really helpful for me. It was funny because um, Amy Williams at one point said that, you know, with a player, she'd rather have them tell them to whoa than having to go. And you're definitely a player that they have to tell to whoa. But you were living in the gym before the, the second injury. How did you feel like your shot was progressing? I know that was a goal of yours before, you know, after you were coming off the injury to improve the outside shot. Where did you feel like it was at uh, going into before you had the second setback? I think it was in a really good place. I actually was kind of shocked at how well I was shooting it <laughs> coming off an injury, and I really hadn't been playing basketball that much. But, yeah, and I, sometimes I shoot before practice, even though I'm technically not supposed to, <laughs> but I like to push the limits sometimes. But, yeah, it feels really good. 
So that will be, I guess, another something that you probably really attack once you, you get the go-ahead. And it's a slow process before you're a full practice. So at what point do you feel like maybe you could start shooting, shooting with no holdbacks? <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Uh, I think just everyone just wants to be extra cautious this time around, but I, I'm ready to shoot. I'm ready to get going on that. But whenever they give me the okay, that's when I, that's when I get to. You talked about coaching up your teammates, and I know that's something that this coaching staff has said you've been very valuable on the bench this season. What have you learned in this role over this last couple of seasons where you are kind of seeing a game in a different light? I think some things that I've learned are some places that I maybe, maybe may have not realized shots could come from me. As I'm watching and imagining myself playing out there, I'm like, mm, those are some shots that I could take. And I think I've really realized that in the past season and a half and then Obviously, like, I love to coach up Logan Nisley. She is one of my best friends, and I know that she's a great shooter, and sometimes she struggles with confidence, but uh, she's one of my favorite people to coach up because she takes it so well. Boy, you were talking about someone that's really been a huge lift in this lineup the last few games. Talk about her game and what she provides to this team, besides just being a knockdown shooter. <laughs> yeah. Her offensive rebounding. Yeah, she's Crazy. a great offensive rebounder, and... I mean, those extra chances like are huge for our team. An extra possession, an extra opportunity to get it into the post, get it into the legs to make a play. And I think, you know, she just puts herself in good positions on the floor to make smart defensive plays and, and just stuff like that. And she just has a nose for the ball, moves well off the ball, and is always hunting her shot, which helps space the floor. So I think she's just a really, really smart player for a freshman. So have you found yourself too, just like with the other players, just maybe seeing some things on the bench that you can pass along when, when guys check out, check back in, and, and that you can pass along? Yeah, I think the main thing would be, I feel like a lot of them turn down shots that I would want them to shoot. So a lot of the time when they come out, I'm like, you should shoot that. But, <laughs> yeah. Why has it been important for you to take on that role? I think I've learned, because obviously I've always been more of a lead by example type of person, but I think I've found my voice a little bit and that, you know, people respect what I say and have listened to what I say a lot. And so I think I've just learned to use my voice a little bit. What would be um, some words of advice you'd pass along to someone that might be going through a setback, some adversity during their ath athletic career and really what feel like at the height of your athletic career and, and to have this kind of setback twice? Yeah, uh, I always tell myself that God gives his toughest battles to his strongest warriors and you know, he wouldn't, he wouldn't give you this type of setback if he didn't know that you could handle it. And I just, you know, patience and just trusting that he has a plan for you. This is part of your story. And um, I just have to think that the outcome, the comeback from these two injuries has just got to be so special that it's going to be worth it. I love that. Great perspective. Well, you know, just being able to, to observe from the sidelines these last couple of seasons, boy, women's basketball continues to explode. You've seen the crowds at PBA. You guys have protected the home court. How has it been being a part of that, being able to be an observer and, and to watch and see it grow like that? I think it's pretty special. Obviously, the Iowa game, sold out game. Uh, I had goosebumps the whole time. It was just crazy to see how much of an impact one player can make on the game and just how it tra travels across the country with her and uh, just to see her growing the game and it spreading and trickling down to every other sport in women's college uh, is just crazy. So the win over Iowa and then the three games leading into, or the four games leading into um, the Illinois loss, what, what started to click for this team? How did this team start putting together their best basketball? Um, I think we were just playing off each other, uh, we really started to mesh well. I think everyone was starting to understand, like there may, they may have a different role every game, and I think everyone is open and willing, like, hey, I may not start this game, but I think we're so team-oriented that it doesn't really bother anyone on our team, and we just want to win for each other, so. I asked Alexis about this after senior night, but you also have a good perspective of this and coming in with Jazz Shelley at the same time. And, uh, you know, these, the senior, Ani Stewart was here the whole time. And then Darian White comes in and, and Maddie Kroll. What does the senior class meant to you? What role have they played in, uh, you know, this program and how important they've been to this program? The senior class has been huge for me. Obviously, coming here at the same time as Jazz, I've always looked up to her. She's always coached me up a lot and kind of taken me under her wing. And, you know, we played a lot of minutes together and 
I was really looking forward to playing with her this season. Although it didn't happen, I've learned, I've still learned a ton of things from her. And then Ani, oof, she's great. Uh, she <laughs> always put a smile on my face. She's the most optimistic person I know, always happy. Um, can always look to her to make me smile and just kind of realize everything's going to be okay. And then Maddie, I mean, I have a hit, like, I played AAU with Maddie, yeah. so for us to get reunited at Nebraska has just been really fun and, and special, and she's like a big sister to me. She's always taking care of me, always coaching me up, will always hold me accountable, and I love that I can count on her for that. And then Darian, she's just so, <laughs> she's so energetic and so peppy. It's so fun being around her. She makes being on the court, being on the bench, being in the locker room, everything, just everything about basketball, being around her is so fun. That was my conversation with Allison Widener as a part of our Husker Women's Wednesday, which is powered by Emeritus. Emeritus is proud to power uh, Husker Women's Wednesday and all of Husker Women's Sports. And uh, just uh, love her so much and really enjoy the time I get to, to chat with her and cannot wait to see her back in a uniform. I think a lot of Husker fans feel that. I mean, we get asked about her, it seems like every other week, how she's doing and when coach is on. So she certainly made a mark, really, just in that not even a half season, but the season, the full freshman season, and then, uh, you know, a little bit of that sophomore season. So uh, being a Nebraska kid, small-town kid, uh, can't wait to get, get her back healthy. Plays so hard, does all the little things that, that any team would love to have, and we've missed having her on that thing, so good to hear and get an update on her. Updating from Minneapolis, about 30 seconds left. Purdue, 74-68 lead on Northwestern. So the Boilers are in position to win that. Huskers get the winner of that game tomorrow right around 2 o'clock or so, 1 o'clock for pregame coverage here on the network. We were kind of quietly pulling for Northwestern. Purdue, I think, is a little bit better, more talented team. I still believe, Jessica, that tomorrow's more about the Huskers than it is who they play. Either of these teams, Nebraska plays well, they win. Absolutely. I mean, they are a better team. Yeah. That's why they have the better record. That's why they have the better seating. It's why Nebraska swept both these teams are swept Purdue. So um, they are the more talented basketball team. They just got to do what they do. They've got to play Nebraska basketball. And that's what you heard, the, the conversations, the interviews with Natalie and Logan this week. And they have stressed that. I mean, we got to go. We got to go do what we do. We can't worry. In this tournament setting, you don't know. You can't nope. really prepare. It's about doing what we do at this point. And, and they, they found that rhythm here in the, the stretch down the end of the season. So they just got to apply that here in, in Minneapolis. Hey, at Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. Husker Baseball will have their home opener against South Alabama on Friday, 4.05 at Haymarket Park. When we come back, we'll talk to one of the new additions to Will Bolt's team, the center fielder, Riley Silva. That's coming up next. That's the best way I could describe how it felt for me when I would walk out of either the casino or the kino parlor, is that you just felt that wave of heat, that wave of oppression kind of hit you, that wave of dread. Mike is a former problem gambler. Right away, you would always know that that drive home would be the worst moments of why. Why did I do this again? Why can't I stop this? Help for problem gambling is free for Nebraskans and their families at Life After Bet. Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go! Huskers. Woodhouse has got you covered for your next car, truck, or SUV. We are committed to making the car buying and owning experience better thanks to our knowledgeable sales staff and factory certified technicians. You can discover our large inventory of new and pre owned vehicles anytime at Woodhouse.com, where we have made buying a car easier than ever. Whether you need a family hauling SUV, a car to take you around town, or a hardworking truck, Woodhouse has something for everyone. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts.
Noddle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Noddle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Noddle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! I just remember leaving that day feeling absolutely exhausted. I was sick and tired of living that double life. Mike is a former problem gambler. The anxiety, the depression is real. You start thinking about the money, the, where that could have went to. It's never enough. I could win $10 million today, and I'd go back and try to win 20 tomorrow. Help for problem gambling is free for Nebraskans and their families at Life After Bet. Com. Are you ready? It's Ford Truck Month, and we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series, including the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. It's time to celebrate, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on F-150 plus a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. There's no community like a Cenex community, and that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Husker baseball ready for their home opener on Friday as South Alabama will visit Haymarket Park and delighted to be joined now by Roddy Silva, the Husker center fielder who's gotten off to a terrific start. Good to see you. Congratulations. You got to be kind of pumped up about the way this season's, yeah. season's gotten going. Yeah, good to see you. Thank you. Um, you know, I think our team, just the way we've shown everything so far this year has been unbelievable. I mean, coming off the start at um, Texas, one and two, I mean, it wasn't a great start. But, you know, after uh, Charleston, really, I was like, oh, my gosh, this team has something special up our sleeves. So I'm excited to finally be back at home and yeah, ready to get this thing going. Well, I got to tell you, you gave me a scare at Grand Canyon. We lose Joshua Overbeek the first week with a broken finger. You took one off the look like a, the ankle, a pitch. Yeah, yeah. I was worried. Yeah. Are you okay? Did it bruise up on you? It was good, yeah. Um, I think it was a slider right off the ankle. Um, it, I mean, kind of just stung at the moment, but got running, and then I get down to first base, and me and Sirianni were talking, and he was like, you think you're good to steal? And I was like, yeah, I'm good to steal. <laughs> so tried to steal, but didn't get it happening. But, yeah. I'm Do okay. you wear an ankle guard when you bat i don't know i I'm, I'm i think i'm super superstitious um and i was wearing it for one game and didn't really like it so i was like haven't put it back on since so well let's talk about your background you're from canada yes sir. did you play ball at a young age did you pick it up well tell me about your background in baseball so basically i played when i was younger i played hockey for most of my life and then i also played baseball 
Um, my parents really got me into baseball when I was, I'd probably say, seven. Um, but I think my, my true love was for hockey. But growing up, I think I just felt in love with baseball, seeing the Blue Jays and uh, like the atmosphere at the Rogers Center. I, I played in the, in the Rogers Center when I was younger. And I think baseball just really made me fall in love with the sport. And um, yeah, brought me here. So couldn't really think Are enough. you a Maple Leafs fan? Huge I'm Maple assuming, Leafs fan. Yeah. Me, Clarky, Maddie. Yeah. Huge Maple Leafs guys. Yeah, we have to have a little watch party when the playoffs I would love get to. going. So, all right, so you, you leave high school age, you go to Barton County to community college. That's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, that had to be a little bit different lifestyle for you there. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I left, I left my home. Um, I lived there for my whole life. I super close with my parents, my brother. My brother left to go to school. Um, and once he left, you know, I kind of got the house to myself, me and my parents, and then going to school out there in Kansas, it was, it was definitely an adjustment. Um, my coaches, definitely, there was only three of them, so they really helped me get adjusted. Um, and my roommates that I had down there, it was unbelievable. We really had an amazing, amazing friendship, definitely a bunch of brothers that I still talk to to this day. Um, I think one of them is gonna come up to a couple games here soon, so I'm excited for that. Um, yeah, it was, it was a big adjustment, but nothing I wouldn't change for. Right. Rowdy Silva with us here on Sports Sunday. Okay, so how did Nebraska get on your radar? How'd you end up being a Cornhusker? So, out of high school, I knew Clarky was coming here. Um, so oh, so you guys knew each other back then? Oh, yeah. Me and, me and Caleb played okay. for probably four years, I think, at, in high school. Um, and obviously, Sterney, he, he was one of my coaches back then, and you know, he always put in a good word for me. He was one of one of my favorite coaches. Um, and at Barton, he kind of reached out to me um, after my sophomore year, and he was like, "Hey, like Nebraska is, you know, a big time school, and they think you have something special, and I think you have something special." So it was really Sterney that kind of helped me out coming here to Nebraska. Um, Coach Harvell reached out to me one day. I was eating dinner with my parents. Um, and I was like, oh my gosh, like, mom, look at like, Nebraska's texting me. And um, I just, it was, as soon as they texted me and I was talking to Coach Harvell, it was kind of just something I couldn't, I couldn't resist. And, you know, I've, I've seen the field, I've seen the players, I know about this program, their history of everything. And it was nothing I couldn't say no to. So it was just an amazing opportunity. Well, I mentioned Overbeek earlier. He gets hurt week one, and then that changed the batting order. You yep. go from nine to two in the, in the batting order. You like that? I'm sure you do. More at-bats, right? Yeah, I love hitting second. You know, hitting ninth, I didn't – I mean, I wasn't opposed to it. Uh, Coach Bold talked to me before, and he was like, hey, like, we think you at, in the nine hole is something special. Like, you can easily turn the lineup over and, you know, steal second, Brumbach can drive you in. So – um, I did some of that in high school too, and then at Barton I hit ninth a couple times as well, um, and hitting second now. I hit second all of my Barton career basically, and it kind of just felt like I was right back at home. So I love it. Um, yeah, having Brumbaugh in front of me, I mean, he's a great hitter. He's a great person to lead off for us. So, yeah. Well, you've been terrific in a lot of ways. Stolen bases, you haven't been thrown out yet. You've done a great job with that. So let me ask you, would you rather steal a base or make a diving catch in the outfield? Mm, you know, personally, I think I, I love stealing. I love running. Yeah. I mean, who wouldn't love to make a diving catch? But, yeah, for me, I think, I think probably a stolen base. It gives the, the hitters behind me a better opportunity to drive in runs and help the team out. So... I'd probably have to go with the stolen base. Very good. All right, you're <laughs> off to a 7-3 and three start, best start around here in about 16 years. How, about, how good is the feeling around the team right now? Just what's it like being getting dressed every day for practice or a game? It's got to be a good feel. Yeah, it's a, it's a great feeling. You know, the, the vibes in the locker room are incredible. Um, after Again, after our Charleston series, lo or being down in, what, I think all three games, yeah. we were, I mean, we n I never thought we were out of the fight. I think no one ever thought we were out of the fight. And after winning those games, just everyone is unbelievable. Like, we get back to the hotel and everyone's just, I mean, who doesn't like to win? And I think our team is definitely something special that um, there's, we're going to be seeing more of. So, I saw a 
Coach Childress earlier, and I said, that's an interesting formula. I go, are you going to keep doing that, falling behind? He goes, no, no, no. We don't want to do it. We want to get ahead sometime and not yeah. have to come fighting back uphill. All right, your first home game coming up on Friday. You excited to be able to play in front of the home fans? So excited. I mean, being on the road for so long, you kind of get the feeling of missing home. And, you know, I think this place is definitely my second home, and I, I love coming back here. Um, it just feels warm and being on our home field, you know, we practice there every day, so um, <clears throat> I'm excited to see everyone and actually have more than just a couple of 200, yeah. 300 fans in, there, in the stands, so I'm ready to show people here what we got. Kind of felt like a home game in Phoenix. I got to say that. I mean, we had as much red as there was purple in the, yep. the stands for that game, but well, Roddy, congratulations. Great start. Let's keep this thing rolling. I think Thank the you. Husker Nation is getting pretty excited about this team. They're, yeah. they're seeing what you guys have done. They can't wait to watch you here at home. They should be, yeah. Thank you. Thank Roddy you Silva with us here on Sports Hiding. Woodhouse Auto Family, they are your trusted auto partner. 20 brands, 20 convenient sales and service locations. We're making car buying on your terms. Visit us online at woodhouse.com. More of the show coming up next. Nottle Companies is proud to support Husker Athletics. As a leader in commercial real estate, we create thriving communities. Discover what's new in the Builders District in North Downtown, Sunnyside Exarbon, and Row House Townhomes on Leavenworth. Nottle Companies is adding Omaha's first hybrid timber building to the skyline. Soon to follow is Builders Green Park, surrounded by mouth-watering food, exciting retail, and a hub of thriving businesses. Nottle Companies, building a better Nebraska. For more information, check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Go Huskers! Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. Maybe your hometown celebrates long-standing Swiss traditions. <laughs> cow chip throwing. Or even classic car muscle. Everyone has a hometown, and every hometown has a festival. Senex wants to hear about yours. That's why we're launching the Hometown Throwdown. Tell us about your fest, and it could win $100,000. Learn more at SenexHometownThrowdown.com. Senex, powered locally. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Start your next journey with Woodhouse. Our commitment extends beyond just selling cars. We offer an unparalleled car buying experience that allows you to shop and buy all online. Explore an array of new brands, makes, and models, as well as our large selection of pre-owned vehicles. And it's easy to get started today with our streamlined purchasing process online, granting you the freedom to secure your next vehicle anytime, anywhere. Discover a better way to buy with Woodhouse. There's no community like a Cenex community, and that's why every Cenex store is so proud to serve theirs by supporting local athletic teams, promoting the arts, and making sure each store is a place its neighbors can find what they need, catch up with their friends, and stay connected. It's also why we give back, helping to make the wonderful places we call home the best they can be. Your local Cenex doesn't just work in your town, it lives there. The store next door, powered locally at Cenex. That's the best way I could describe how it felt for me when I would walk out of either the casino or the keno parlor, is that you just felt that wave of heat, that wave of oppression kind of hit you, that wave of dread. Mike is a former problem gambler. Right away, you would always know that that drive home would be the worst moments of why. Why did I do this again? Why can't I stop this? Help for problem gambling is free for Nebraskans and their families at Life After Bet. Com. Farming today is a combination of hard work, innovation, and partnerships to help keep us moving forward. Sap Brothers Petroleum has provided us with fuel, propane, and lubricants on the farm for many years. For over 52 years, Sap Brothers has been a reliable partner to thousands of farmers across our great state. We work hard to make sure our customers have the most reliable supply, provided in the safest manner and at the most competitive price. Trust Sap Brothers Petroleum to protect your equipment and keep your farm fueled. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics and to serve Nebraska farmers and Husker fans across America. 
America's heartland. At Groundworks, we take great pride in helping our Nebraska neighbors keep their homes healthy. From repairing foundations to waterproofing basements to fixing crawl spaces or lifting concrete driveways. We'd like to think our customers choose us because of our attention to detail or the fact that we're the nation's leading foundation solutions provider. What gives our customers the most comfort is we're right here in Nebraska. Visit Groundworks.com for a free estimate. Groundworks. Foundation Solutions, crafted with pride. The official foundation company of the Huskers. Get ready to rule the field and revolutionize your farming game with Valley, the game changer in irrigation and ag tech solutions. With time and labor saving measures, ground truthing results, and effective input reduction, Valley provides the perfect game plan so you stay ahead of what's in the field. From the best in irrigation and cutting edge ag tech solutions to personalized support, Valley is your winning team. Visit your local Valley dealer or valleyirrigation.com today. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealers, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. It is gone final in Minneapolis. The Huskers will now play Purdue. They win 78-72 over Northwestern. They trailed a good chunk of this game and came back. So now it's time for our opponent preview, brought to you by John Henrys. You've been doing some scout on the borders, what have you found? Yeah, so Nebraska has won the two previous meetings, both here and on the road. And 77-65 back on February 17th, that last meeting. And Purdue's not an easy place to go play. And as we heard Coach Williams talking before that last matchup, they're an older team. They've got some grad seniors that really play a big role for them. They're gritty. They're tough. They like to push the pace. So um, it's going to be a tough matchup. The Huskers will definitely have to be ready to go. But, hey, they've, they've found the winning recipe the previous two meetings. And, and as we've heard them say and, and we've talked about, it's about Nebraska. And it's about playing Nebraska basketball. They've got to go do what they've done. And, and especially here down the stretch, they've put together some really good performances. So they got to keep Honing in on that and, and building off of what they've done. Even with the win today, Purdue's only 13 and 17. So they had 12 wins going to Minneapolis, get a win today by six over Northwestern. They had multiple players in double figures, including a girl off the bench, freshman girl off the bench, not the freshman of the year right. in the league, by, at least according to the media. But uh, the Jones girl did have a nice game for them off the bench. They also have a girl from Australia. So it's kind of interesting that you'll have a little Aussie matchup. It's going to be the game. battle of the Big Ten freshman of the year and the battle of the Aussies, the Aussies. right? Um, yeah. But Abby Ellis had 25 and 10 She's a good player. tonight, and she averages 14 a game. She's their leading scorer. Mary Ashley Stevenson, of course, is that freshman. The the co, I guess, the media picked her as the Big Ten freshman of the year, and the Rashonda Jones. She had 19 points, and she was a big key to the catalyst of. of Purdue coming back, they were down by 12 in the third quarter and turned it around, and that was their biggest comeback of the season so far. And so we're able to come back, and he really pushed the pace. Rashonda was able to get to the rim, so they'll have to protect the the rim on that. And then uh, Abby Ellis was hitting some big time three. So this is a, again a team that. Uh, likes to push the pace, and so the Huskers will have to be good in transition. Their head coach uh, in the post game was asked about how they match up with Nebraska. One of the first things she said was, "We've got to find a way to contain Alexis Markowski," yeah. which is uh, at the top of the scouting report for everybody. But uh, you know, again, with uh, everybody trying to take Markowski out of it, Huskers need to be able to to knock down some threes from the outside to alleviate some of that pressure. Yeah, it was an interesting game because, like you said, they were down 12, and I think you were starting to even kind of make some notes on Northwestern, and you're like, "Oh." Purdue's falling apart, and then they somehow found it, and they outscored them 26-17 in the fourth quarter to move on to tomorrow's matchup with Nebraska. Still one more game in the play-in game day up in Minneapolis. Rutgers and Minnesota will tip off in about 15 minutes up there. Huskers are the first game, the second game of the day tomorrow. They'll play around 2 o'clock, 1 o'clock for pregame coverage. Again, I go back to, I think if the Huskers play pretty well, I don't see how Purdue beats them. But yeah. you, you got to get it done. It just the... Even though they have some freshmen that are playing in their first tournament experience, I just they're they're focused, they're locked in. When you have players like Alexis Markowski and Jazz Shelley who have been there, they're they're on a mission, and uh, you know those freshmen that are shoot are ready to compete and are following suit. I think they'll be locked in. I think they'll be ready to go. So um, yeah. I do. Big, big opportunity here to win a game in a tournament, get another win on the resume, and advance in the Big Ten tournament, and uh, maybe string some wins together. I do think there's a little bit of an advantage having played already in the tournament, which I hope Nebraska then can use that Friday 
So, you know, maybe a slow start tomorrow because Purdue's kind of got their sea legs underneath them. But I think over the 40, over the 40 minutes of the game, Nebraska will wear them out. But I do think that could be a factor on Friday because Nebraska will have a game under their belt. Michigan State won't have played yet. Yeah, it's funny. I mean, you hear coaches say that a lot, right? Depending on what your team situation yeah. is going into a tournament. Hey, you get a chance to get a feel for it. Yep. Get your rhythm back. Or, hey, you have your legs because you didn't just play a hard-fought game the night before. Yeah. So uh, either way, you got to take what you get and build on it. And, yeah, here's an opportunity for the Huskers to, to string together some wins and maybe compete for a Big Ten title and continue to add to that resume for the NCAA tournament seating. They'll see some pressure tomorrow, so you got to handle the basketball. I kind of wonder how much Darian White can play. She played some against Illinois, didn't play a lot. I know she's coming back off that injury, but... They may need her ball handling ability at times tomorrow. And her ability to get to the rim. So, yeah, but don't rush it either. You know, you want her to, yeah. be, you want her to be healthy. So, but she certainly adds that element and her energy and the, the spark on defense. And so uh, would, would be definitely useful to, to get her back. Hopefully they've been able to, they had some time over the last couple of weeks and she didn't play a whole lot during senior night. So hopefully she'll be rested and ready to go. Yeah. So, again, 1 o'clock pregame tomorrow, Matt and Jeff. On the call for us will be courtside up in the Target Center, which is going to host not only the women's tournament, but the men's tournament. So last year, the men were in a different location. The women were in Minneapolis, but this year, that city gets both the men's and women's tournament. Going to be interesting to see where they, what they do with this tournament with the addition of the four schools coming in next year. Do they bounce it around some? I think they probably will. Will it go out west? Maybe at some point in time it goes out west. Maybe it goes to a Las Vegas or a Los Angeles to, to move it around some. But I think primarily it's got to stay kind of in the Midwest, a Chicago and Indianapolis. Maybe throw in Minneapolis there a little bit. But that's going to be interesting to see what they do with the tournament moving forward. And remember, not everybody gets to go next year. To the Better tournament. take care of business. Get yourself in that tournament. The bottom three don't get an invite. Uh, they're going to stay home. So, yeah, you got to fight your way to get into that. That is our opponent preview for the Big Ten matchup tomorrow for the Huskers against Purdue. Brought to you by John Henry's. John Henry's is the official plumbing, HVAC, and electrical partner of Husker Athletics. 402-413-2400, the number to be a part of the program with the text. Michigan State's men's team losing. Come on, Sparty. They're down one to Northwestern. Huskers could really use a Michigan State win. That would Huskers would then be able to vault maybe to the third seed spot in their tournament next week. We might have a final on that before we say goodnight uh, before the end of the show here tonight. All right, back to our wrap up the show next. Things that impair you come in many different shapes and sizes. Some are the shape of beer and liquor bottles. Others look like cigarettes but aren't cigarettes at all. These are the things we know impair us, the things our parents warned us about. What we're not always aware of is our new prescription or the over-the-counter medicine we picked up just for allergies or a bad cold. See, it doesn't just matter how much of a substance you take. If you are impaired, driving is deceptively dangerous. Don't drive impaired. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Get ready again for some Nebraska farm facts. When there's work to be done, Nebraska soybeans are on the job in many of your everyday products. In fact, Nebraska soybeans are hard at work in Goodyear tires, Ford cars and trucks, Skechers shoes, asphalt, fuels, lubricants, name brand paints and stains, and more. Soybeans are an innovative replacement for petroleum, leading to more sustainable products all over the world. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers. Growing opportunity from the ground up. Husker fans, the women's basketball postseason coverage starts this week with the Big Ten Tournament. Your postseason coverage is presented by John Henry's, the official plumbing, HVAC, and electrical partner of Nebraska Athletics, bringing you all the action on the Huskers radio network. Broadcast coverage starts on Thursday and will follow the Huskers as they advance through the brackets. Listen online or on the air. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Hi, this is Husker National Champion and Super Bowl champ Tony Veland. Throughout my football career, chiropractic care helped my athletic performance on the field and kept me in the game. Today, regular chiropractic care keeps me healthy and active to do the things I love. Chiropractic is safe and effective for all ages. Make chiropractic your first choice to reduce pain, improve your mobility, and feel better naturally. It works for me, and it can work for you too. Learn more at nebraskachiropractic.org. Stay active with chiropractic. 
Hey, Mom. Yeah, I got in a crash. I'm okay. I was wearing my seatbelt. People count on you to buckle up. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Shire, Jessica Cootie with you for the last segment of our show tomorrow night. Full show again tomorrow. We'll have a full recap of the Huskers matchup up in the Twin Cities uh, as they take on the Purdue Boilermakers. We'll have that for you tomorrow night. We'll also check in track and field. You've had an interesting sit down at the NCAA indoors are coming up and you've got one of the Husker athletes that's going to be competing in that. Yes, McKaylin Moore is coming off a Big Ten title he, at the indoor championships. He'll be competing in the triple jump, but he's got a great perspective on those football guys that are competing in both track and football. But, uh, you know, just interesting, he's a team captain, but just to hear his perspective on how this team has gone from really quickly, now one of the top teams in the country, the, how they expect to win titles and just the how it switches from competing for individual national titles to now want to be competing for team titles. But they've got a few guys, and, and even ladies, there's some, Jenna Rogers, one of those, the best, one of the best high jumpers in the country. They've got a few athletes that could be competing for national titles, but we'll dive in with Michaela Moore and get to know him a little bit more. He's an impressive student athlete, not just athlete, but he wants to go to med school. Wow. Uh, so he's, he is one of those, the epitome of a student athlete here at Nebraska. Got a chance maybe to be the student athlete of the year because they really take in the right. academics along with what you do on He was a, your served on the, sport. the, oh, it was the team of, it wasn't just athletes, but the chancers with Ronnie Green and oh, Jane Green. Nice. He was on that group that helped uh, you know, in the committee that he worked real closely with them. And so I know they think the world of him, too. Huskers are sending 11 athletes to the NCAA indoor. It's in Boston, Massachusetts. The weight throw uh, is tomorrow night. It will continue into Friday. Uh, so you got 12 different sports that Nebraska is involved in, McKaylin being one of those. So we'll keep an eye on that. Till, Stanforth, Till Steinforth is going to compete in the heptathlon, and he's going to compete in the long jump, the individual long jump. So he's going to be not only in the heptathlon, but he's going to stretch himself out into the long jump as well. i got a feeling he's going to do really, really well. A lot of these names we've talked about down through the years, Darius Luff's there for the hurdles, Jenna Rogers in the high jump. Uh, so you got some real familiar names, but 11 Huskers will be competing at the NCAA Indoor Track and Field Mart meet gets underway tomorrow, runs through the rest of the weekend. So we'll, keep, we'll follow that tomorrow night on the program and see how they, how they fare in day one. Well, we met, we've mentioned a couple of times that spring break starts at the end of this week. That means, that means and probably thankfully for the football guys, the end of the mat drills. They're probably <laughs> ready to put that behind them. Yes. It's a tough time. Yeah. It's not fun, but it's also what establishes the toughness and the togetherness. And I heard so many times what the guys went back to that and, and the importance of that time and how it brought them together. And it wasn't easy, but boy, it, um, you know, part of that culture is, is really it's now is when it's established. But I'm sure they're ready for it to be done. You establish who your leaders are a little bit. You see who's going to be who's going to stand up and get in the fight when it's really thick. I think you learn a lot about each guy and the coaches learn a lot about their players. I think with this thing and I'm sure, too, they've had a better feel for how they can even push the guys, certain guys, what they're looking for and during this time, too. Um, Coach Campbell, I think about a year ago, he was just trying to it was still Fire, beat to the fire, yeah. right? Because he got here in December and uh, was just trying to get established. But now that he's been here a year and, and got his team here, so I'm sure I can't wait to talk to some of those guys and hear how the offseason went. But they've got to be having the Husker Olympics coming up pretty soon. It's Well, do they do that? Because when they get back from spring break, it's almost go time for... Maybe that was just kind of a tweak last year. with the. I don't know. Do they do that every year or yeah, not? Yeah, well, uh, they, they've... Did they, Duke, are they, they doing any of the Husker Olympics stuff? They did it last year. I mean, they've done it in the past. It, it started at Temple. Kind of an Olympic-type thing where they compete in different sports at all or not? Okay. Duke's kind of got her. He's <laughs> doing some camera work for him. So I, maybe it was just a one-year deal because when they get back for spring break, the, 20, the 20th is their first practice. So it's, that's two weeks from today? Maybe it's not the 20th. Maybe it's yeah, the 18th. I, it's the 18th. Because 
they, I know that it was something that they started in Temple, and then they did it at Baylor. So I, I don't know if they're going to do it again. The not. timing might not work out yeah. this year. Yeah, the 18th is the first spring football practice. The 20th, then, is the Pro Day, which we're hoping to maybe grab an Omar Brown or somebody like that, a Quentin Newsom, who, because they didn't get invited to the Combine, this will be their chance to go test in front of all the scouts that will be here. Yeah, and they'll be doing everything. Uh, a lot of times, if guys do well at the Combine, like, remember when, um, oh, uh, Cam Jurgens didn't run because he was the fastest yeah. guy. Yeah, why do it again? You know, so sometimes you don't see them do everything. But they'll have, they'll do everything. It's a big day for them. So, uh, but Omar has sh uh, really shined in his opportunities at the the things that he's been able to do since he left. And uh, Jeremiah Searles was at, I think it was the Shrine Bowl, right? Yeah. And said that he was really impressive. So yeah, it'll be fun. And they were a big part of last year. And um, I'm just excited too to just chat with him about even some of those young defensive backs who they're looking for to maybe fill their roles this season too. Yeah. There's going to be some competition back there. Oh, a lot, a lot of competition. Because you have some guys that are back, like a Tommy Hill that's back, but they're going to be pushed. They're going to have to keep playing well, or they're going to get their spot taken away from by one of the young guys that have entered the program. So spring break week and then spring football practice begins. With I told uh, Cole yesterday, I said, we're going to get back into cutting up some of those practice reports again uh, once they get back for, for that. And then obviously that's the same week as the NCAA tournament gets going. So that's going to be a busy time around here with all that getting cranked up. And uh, I saw Coach Manning today, and we were supposed to hook up at a certain time today, and he was late, and I go, what's the deal? He goes, oh, Coach Rural grabbed me. And I go, well, okay, well, if the head football coach grabs you, you have a, you've got a good excuse. You could be late. Yeah, you can be late if you and, want. And uh, Nash, I can't wait to see him in Big Ten action. Awesome. I, so you know, awesome I know like him. a couple weeks ago they were still trying to decide, but he He's must be ready it. to go. He's going to do it. And as Mark Manning told us earlier in the program, he has to win a couple of matches to qualify for the NCAAs. He's not qualified yet because he hasn't wrestled has enough. Because he, he didn't wrestle until, what, mid-January? Yeah. yeah. So he doesn't have enough of those meets mm -hmm. to qualify. So he's got to win a couple, I think, at the Big Tens to get to that level that he can con continue on with one more meet. That'd but good fun. for him. I can't wait to watch him. Just good for him. Well, what a great show tonight. I'll say tomorrow night we're going to hear from our good friends at Choices Treatment Center. March is... National Gamblers Addiction Month. We're going to hear about some ways that maybe you got to be careful. We want to have fun. March Madness. I know some some money gets exchanged. People like to do some of that. It's now legal in the state of Nebraska at certain venues, but you got to be careful about it. We're going to give you some great tips about that tomorrow night on the program as well. So looking forward to a full show tomorrow night. We we're also going to do a little listen in tomorrow night with Nate Rohr. Softball was supposed to play Arkansas and Fayetteville tomorrow night, but they've already canceled it. They're supposed to get a lot of rain, I guess, in Fayetteville, so they did not do that. And Duke told you Huskers have added a couple of games to the schedule for next Tuesday at home uh, because they're short of the, the, the total that you're allowed to play in the spring, so they're going to add a couple of uh, games next Tuesday night. So no Nate Rohr and Alyssa did, but we'll, maybe we'll talk with Coat after the matchup with the women against Purdue tomorrow, and I can't wait to hear part of your, your chat with Muth Moore. Yeah, I hope Caitlin. he's he's great. I really enjoyed it. And the highlight of tomorrow, tomorrow night might be... Finally, it's been, what, six weeks? The return of Cole's joke. He's out today practicing. I think he may be at a club tonight <laughs> doing some practice work to see if he can get, get that rhythm and timing back down. Yes, well, <laughs> it's... Hopefully he's not rusty, but he, you know he's asking for an off season. We gave him an off season. Yeah, he's had. So it. no more complaints. It's time to go. Yep. Cole. So we'll have all that for you coming up tomorrow night on the program. Which should we set the over under on? Six. I'll go low. I think he needs to be coming off that big long of a break. It should be a seven. All right. I could go with that. All right. Um, that'll do it for tonight's show. Thanks to Duke. Appreciate you. And Camden was in here earlier helping us out on the program. Have yourself a great night. Go Big Red tomorrow up in Minneapolis. We'll recap it all for you tomorrow night. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Are you ready? It's Ford Truck Month, and we're celebrating 47 years as the best-selling trucks in America with special once-a-year offers on Ford F-Series, including the new 2024 Ford F-150 and Ford Super Duty, the North American Truck of the Year. It's time to celebrate, America. This is Ford Truck Month. Get 1.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,000 bonus cash on F-150 plus a five-year, 100,000-mile powertrain warranty. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers.
Other irrigation companies are finally discovering what TNL Irrigation is known for decades. Continuous movement is the best way to irrigate. While they'll have you pay for complicated upgrades to get steady, even water application with their high voltage electric systems, all TNL Irrigation pivots and linears are propelled safely and smoothly by powerful hydrostatic drive. Continuous movement isn't new, it's the TNL standard. Don't get talked into a reinvented wheel. Pick the proven original. Call your TNL Irrigation dealer today or visit TLIRR.com. TNL, like no other. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska exists to be there with you. From the first bell to final exams, they are rooting for the schools and teachers who make our communities great. Throughout the year, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Nebraska and Nebraska Athletics will be honoring outstanding educators who help Nebraska's students reach their potential. If there's a teacher you want to recognize for the impact they've made in your community, find a nomination form at huskers.com slash teachers. For farmers, productivity isn't an option. It's everything. And at Valley, we feel the same. Delivering game-changing technology and irrigation solutions that advance agricultural productivity with the results to prove it. From our leading irrigation technology to expert advice, you can always rely on Valley to bring out the best in your farm. At Valley, productivity isn't an option. 